Hi, Ark fans. Welcome to Ark Invest Daily, your daily dose of Ark information. Today, we have a very special episode. It's not just uh, five minutes or less. We are going to be covering a little more than just that uh, because there has been some confusion about uh, what I present in this channel, what I bring to the table. It is um, my USP, uh, unique selling point of this channel. I don't make ma any money out of it at all. So just want to be clear about that. There are no ads that you will see. Um, and um, uh, also, we will feature the biggest moves of today. We will feature nano dimensions because that's where the confusion arose a little bit um, and this channel's USB, obviously. So stay with me and um, let's go into the, uh, first of all, let's quickly go into the ARC's email, the subscription emails that they send. If you go to their website and subscribe to um, Daily Trades, this is the kind of email that comes through. And, um, and they have been very uh, upfront about it that this email is not a comprehensive list of day's trades. They mention it not only at the top of the email, but also at the bottom. Uh, they mention the same thing here as well. It's not a comprehensive list of trades. So ARC's email is incomplete list. And that's where uh, I think this channel brings uh, value to the table is that we present complete list of trades. We wait for the day to be over. That's when the complete list is uploaded on their website. And I download it. I do a diff compared to yesterday's list and that's how i come up with the complete list of trades no other youtube channel will have it uh, many youtube channels they would just uh, take this email that comes through the subscription and just present that just a way of making money but in this case um, we do the complete due diligence we bring you the complete list and that's the reason we are able to do uh, things like new and removed companies you won't find that in any other channel because we do a diff from yesterday's channel yesterday's data um, and uh, we do it in just one hour of upload of the data. The timing is important too. Even though I upload it late in the night, uh, I get less views because of that, but at least um, at least it's uh, complete data and uh, true data. And truly biggest moves. I just don't give you, oh, I don't hype like, oh, they, they bought so many shares, but what does it really mean? Is that company really high in the ranking? And also uh, 1 million shares, how much does it translate to the actual market value? It could just be very less value. And we will see the those examples today as well. So truly biggest moves, not just oh million shares, uh, but what does it mean in market value? And because we record all the data every day, we can do bring things like um, uh, weekly and monthly cuts of data. We aggregate the data as well at monthly level and tell you how was the whole month and mid month updates and weekly updates. So that's why nobody else has this uh, in, in any YouTuber you can go and check. Uh, companies ranking over time. We also show you the rankings over time, how the companies have been rising and dropping and we'll feature nano dimensions today just to show you exactly that. So stay with me um, to find out more about it and uh, I'll show you each of these very quickly with today's data. Welcome back guys. So today it's a special episode. Not only we'll be covering daily trades and biggest moves, but also sh featuring one of the companies just to show you the value that uh, we bring to the table um, with the complete list of trades. Now, um, uh, so going over the daily routine to talk about market value, we keep an eye on this, the trend um, in past few days. Um, so uh, yesterday's, uh, it, it's up actually, market value is up today to, to 40.7 billion from 40 billion, so 1.8% up. So the trend has been generally downward, but uh, starting to go up slowly. So that's uh, looking good there. This is the distribution in all the ETFs that they have. This is the distribution, uh, total number of companies that they are diversified in. In my yesterday's episode, I showed you how um, they uh, reduced three companies completely, removed three companies completely. Uh, and before that, I was an episode where they added Disney. So um, overall, a net negative of three companies recently, they are maintaining it to 270 right now. This is how it's distributed for various ETFs, it won't sum up to 270 because some companies are present in multiple ETFs, right? So that's uh, uh, overall high level summary. Let's go into the biggest moves quickly. Now in the biggest moves, well, also one more thing is that we are able to do things like slice it by ETF. If you subscribe via emails to uh, ARC funds, they will give you, uh, they will send you the emails. Um, but this is truly the complete picture of all the trades, um, all the ETFs within the within within their funds etc so nobody else is able to do that in their channel um let's go to the biggest moves quickly so today the threshold that we have kept is one percent if they sh if they traded uh one percent shares of any company one percent or more it will show up here um and the market value filter is five million at least the change should be a uh, change in market value for that company should be five million um these are the companies that pop up with that criteria and this is their rank in uh, 270 companies so let's see we'll take a look at uh, biggest moves by share account and also biggest moves by uh, dollar count so we'll sort this and then after that we will do this 
So, uh, but the, today the list is very small, so it doesn't matter. We'll quickly cover it uh, because of our filters. If I say, for example, if I reduce it, it will become a way bigger list because there was a lot of trading with um, less than 1% shares as well. So, um, or if I reduce this, it will be a big list. So these are truly the biggest moves. Stone Co, which is a company uh, headquartered in Brazil, point of sale software and hardware, uh, added 43% extra shares to the current position. It's present in Arc F. So as I hover over it, it's present. Uh, it shows you more information about the trend of shares and stock price, and also where it is present. It's present in Arc F, and uh, the value is 10.2 million. Uh, so biggest move in shares, but not so so big in the market value, obviously. Desktop Metal is another company that popped up yesterday as well. 3D printing company. Um, they added 41% shares yesterday, and today they added 29% more. Um, so they probably know something that we don't know. I guess all of a sudden they are adding a lot of uh, uh, shares here. Uh, this is a Chamath Pali Hapatiya backed uh, company. So, uh, but uh, in terms of market value, just 5.5 million. Next is DraftKings. Uh, they have been very bullish on this. Rank is 22 in the overall fund of 270 companies, 365,000 shares added. And uh, this is truly one of the biggest moves, um, even though just 7% shares added, um, it is $41.8 million value change. Uh, from yesterday. Coinbase, 5% extra shares added, um, 180,000, 9.4 million. Tesla, just 2% shares added, but look at, this is the actually the biggest move, 47 million uh, dollars difference to the overall fund. Tevilio, 1%, 18.8 million. In terms of negative, you will see they are reducing Nintendo, which popped up in past episodes as well. They've been reducing it. Uh, they were loading up on it during holidays, actually, um, because that's when people buy and probably they were expecting huge returns. Um, would be good to research more on this, but this is what we see. Novartis, uh, present in two ETFs, stock price ticking up. They are reducing the shares there. Huya, reducing shares, stock price also going down. KE Holdings, uh, uh, reducing, so they reduced 11% today, stock price kicking upwards. KE Holdings, they reducing shares, present in three ETFs. Stock price uh, is a roller coaster, looks like, at least for the date range we have selected. Synopsis, again, uh, continuously reducing this as well. Uh, very less shares left there and uh, which is 0.19 million and um, stock price is uh, a kind of a roller coaster too but overall in general it's low if you select bigger date range 235 hubspot reduced 76 percent shares lending tree reduced 79 percent shares even though the stock price is trending upwards maybe they are taking profits um, and investing at other places and giving back to the people who have lost confidence in arc and selling arc shares agora uh, stock going down, uh, st shares going down, and stock price kind of reaching back to $40 level. Guideware software, biggest uh, negative, 96% uh, shares reduced, and I won't be surprised if this companies, if these last two or three companies are completely removed this by the end of this week. That's what the pattern that I've seen in past. If they reduce a company by such big amount, they end up completely getting rid of it too. So this is uh, truly biggest moves by market value. I'll just sort it, and you can take a look at the ranking of Tesla, followed by DraftKings, followed by Tivilio. And in this case, it's KE Holdings, uh, Synopsis, Guidewire, Gora. So that's the biggest moves, guys. Now let's quickly go to the spotlight. I just want to show Nano Dimension here quickly, um, just to show you the value we bring. Nano Dimensions. I've been recording data since uh, January, so but this company they added sometime last year, and um, uh, they have been very bullish on it. So it won't be fair to just show this much data, but whatever we have, the trend is upward. They have been buying more and more and more. This is where they started reducing, uh, but not by a lot. Uh, they have always been reducing just a little bit, a little bit. I've not seen uh, such a big dip in the share count like it happened yesterday. It was 9% um, reduced. 9.5% uh, in fact was reduced yesterday. And today again, it is reduced by 0.4%. That's it, not, not a big one. Um, stock price trend has been downwards as you know at one point it was um if if we select more data and you'll see it was even more uh some 17 point something but um and it has gone down to six dollar fifty cent and it was five it reached actually uh penny stock territory five dollar fifty cent but today it's six for six dollar fifty cents uh, slightly taking upwards um and market value trend that our codes has been a function of these two combined um, now let's also take a look at it by ETF. So since we record data every day, we have ability to do this trending and uh, by ETFs and by company. So you can do that. So as you can see, the 9% reduction happened in print. Uh, so they never had this stock in print ETF, even though it's a 3D printing ETF, uh, 3D printing company, it was never present in uh, print uh, ETF. So they added very recently and today all of a sudden uh, they reduced it. Uh, not today, yesterday they all of a sudden reduced um that etf let's quickly see so 
uh, that point right so yeah from point uh, from 2 million shares that they added all of a sudden it's 0.2 million um, so they reduce quite a bit in that fund um, and rest of the rest of the funds are actually uh, doing good they bought a lot of shares in RW actually um, so it's probably to equate that to balance that out but not sure um, what their real strategy has been behind the scenes stock price uh, doesn't matter which ETF it is present in and this is the market value of each of the ETFs uh, for a nano dimension position that they hold now let's uh, let me also show you another unique point of this channel is we show you the trend of the ranking so if I select nano dimension you will see it's ranked through um, through the time that we have been recording uh, for all uh, it's a it's a messy chart as you can see but what it really where it really shines is it shows the ranking um, so uh, since the time I've been recording nano dimension was ranked 65 in the overall ETF of 270 something companies uh, it went kept on going down and went up in a little bit and then went down again and right now it is at rank 81 in 270 companies now this is has kind of stayed flat they have maintained it kind of uh, the weightage overall but uh, as you can see uh, this graph really shines if I select some other company for example let's say uh, Palantir um, so this is the value we bring so let me select Palantir and show you Palantir's journey uh, since January look at that it started at uh, rank 107 and look at how um, are kept on buying more and more showing more and more confidence and now it is uh, 16th rank 16th company in uh, 270 companies so that's uh, that's the data that I bring to you that's our USP I have a background in data analysis um, I that is my full-time job this is my part-time passion that I do I don't make any money out of it um, uh, happy to hear your feedback guys and uh, please be positive uh, spread positivity uh, sometimes there are negative comments uh, but please make sure you do your due diligence before blaming somebody before assuming uh, things about it so I'm tr I try my best to bring you the best data the best analysis um, thank you so much please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow